Good day. Hope everybody is doing great today. I'm going to be talking about why camp. But before we get into this, the whole purpose of uh, this discussion or this short presentation is to help organization understand the need to implement a project management methodology, a formalized project management methodology to manage projects, regardless of size or type or complexity. There could be many options out there uh, in the world, but the idea usually is that project management methodology must be custom built, tailored to the organizational need. And that's the primary reason we developed CAMP, because it is about how can we have the right type of methodology, again, to fit any project, of any size, any complexity, anywhere. So we are proud of what we've accomplished with CAMP over the last 10 years. And today we have the greatest that we are sharing with you briefly getting into too much detail. First, let's just quickly answer this question. What is CAMP? CAMP is the customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project. You notice in the name here, we put the word customizable and adaptable to emphasize that every organization must tailor, must customize and adapt the project management methodology or methods to it is the types of, or of the project that this organization does. And which could be more than one method within the same organization, especially a large conglomerate that they might be doing multiple type of projects. They could be using multiple methods that are all driven from CAMP. Very brief history, we don't want to bore you with detail, is basically, uh, obviously CAMP was developed by SUCAD uh, in 2007. Version 1 resulted in this book, which was published in 2010, but the methodology, the main concept, were developed in 2007. Then we have version 2 that we work on around between 2011, 2012, 2013, and led to this other books. And there are some other publications, but these are the primary references on CAMP up to a few months ago. And uh, let's get into the camp a little bit. We call it camp, and sometimes we use the term camp 3D, because camp is a three-dimensional methodology. Now, what does it mean? Let's go through the first dimension. What we are saying here, in order to manage project, you need these three dimensions. Dimension one is a project life cycle model. So basically describe and help us understand how you take a project from idea to closure. And through this project life cycle, we go through phases or stages. There are stage gates. And basically, this approach helps us manage at the project level. And you will notice what this means in the next slide. But that basically the first dimension. And this is the standard model as we have in the 2007 uh, or the latest version of CAMP that we are using today. Uh, now, this is the standard model, yeah, which means uh, we could tailor it, we can customize it, we can modify it, we can do things with it in order to make it best fit for the environment that you work in. Um, and that could include maybe just changing the names of some of these things, or maybe combining some of these stages that you see on the screen, or maybe even splitting some stages, depend on the nature of the project and the size and complexity. Now, for simple project, maybe the first dimension is good enough. However, as projects get larger, medium to large to mega, they go from moderate complexity to high complexity, we need something else. We need to be able to manage at this stage level. And in that case, remember the project life cycle help us manage at the life. How we go from point to point, beginning to end, and even beyond. However, again, when, as we mentioned, when we get to a larger project, then every stage or phase has to be managed as well. And in this case, the dimension number two, or the second dimension of the three-dimensional model, 
focus on the processes to help us manage at that stage or phase level. And here we have something. Some of you might think this is look like what PMI and ISO have produced. And sure it is. However, we did not take what ISO 21500 or the Pumbaa Guide have you developed themselves. We have actually improved on it. We have gone, we, we use that as a beginning point. The same way ISO and PMI use the quality management PDCA cycle to create a process group, we have used ISO and, and the Pumbaa uh, to basically to uh, as a starting point and then we said what's missing where are the gaps uh, how could this be improved and we improved on it so we created this basically we call it six processes so basically each one of these oval shape item here is a process uh, which is different than if you're some people familiar with PMI or uh, ISO this is not the same thing as the process in those books this is a bigger topic so this would be uh, a, a camp process like the authorized process this would be equivalent or even more advanced than the initiating process group in ISO 21500 uh, implement basically would be uh, the implement process is uh, uh, would be equivalent to the implementing processes of ISO so and within each one of these processes there could be many steps that we have to do so we have, uh, again, we use ISO as a starting point in this case, and the, ter the terminology you see here is somewhat related to ISO, uh, and then uh, we advanced it. So one thing you can see quickly here, again, without going through much detail, because we have done this in other videos, and we'll do this more in other videos, is planning, for example. Notice we split planning into two parts. First is how you plan the management of the phase, and the second one, the detail. And you might also notice this symbol circle of PG1 and PG2 and PG3. These are process gates. So these are gates within the phase. So at the project life cycle, we have stage gate. At the end of every stage, there is a gate. And now within the process, there are these gates. Now I know before I go on, some people said, ah, Munir, you know, gate at the project level, stage level. You know, we manage the project life cycle, we manage the phase. This is too complex. Actually, it's much simpler than you ever think. It's basically we are breaking down the work into smaller pieces, which is the purpose of a work breakdown structure. The purpose of how to manage a project, you need to manage a piece at a time. So we manage a phase at a time. When we are dealing with a project at high level, we have to take it one phase at a time. And then within the phase, we need to go step by step. And the more we can systemize this, it becomes easier, a straightforward approach for managing the la even the largest and most complex project. You break it down piece by piece. And even below these, there could be steps that we have to do. Uh, so again, project uh, or project management is not simple. Yeah? It can be simplified. So once you go through the detail, you literally, and you start to practice this, you'll find out that is, it's a piece of cake. Uh, once you understand, of course, uh, the infrastructure and the concept. So we talked about the first dimension, and we talked about the second dimension. What is the third dimension? Well, we think in order to manage project and do a good job, you need the first dimension and the second dimension are a must. These are especially for medium to large project. We, what we said, maybe I should go back one step. To manage a, a small, simple project, maybe D1 is enough. As project get larger, medium to large, then we definitely need the second dimension to be implemented as well. Now, whether we are dealing with small project or large project, D1 and D2, they will give us good results. Good is good, but is it good enough? If we want to elevate our work from good to great, what do we need? Dimension. That's how organization and professionals can be able to elevate the project management performance by going to the third dimension. These are advanced topic or leading practices that goes beyond a good practice. ISO, Pumbaa Guide, give us good practices. Good is good, but is it good enough? If it's good enough for you, then maybe you do not need something like CAMP. 
if it's not good enough for you and you want to excel and you want to be considered a leader in what you do, then obviously you need to go toward leading practices. And the third dimension help us get that. And there are at this time, which we could be modifying in the future, four major components of these advanced topics. One is competence. How do we ensure and develop our professionals, project managers, team members, sponsors, executives, to have the right level of competence to lead project to success? That is a definitely another layer. So just training them on how to manage project or getting them certified isn't good enough. We've got to build a well-defined competence professional development program within these organization. And it could be very simple for small organization and could be quite elaborate for larger one, including maybe advanced degrees. Sustainability is another advanced topic. And we honestly believe today in any project, especially infrastructure and capital project, they must consider sustainability. Obviously, sustainability build on the concept of um, some people call it three P's, the triple bottom line, people, profit, prosperity, uh, planet, uh, whatever you want. You can have three P's, uh, GPM Global come up with a model of called five P's, but we need the sustainability model. Now, CAMP is not reinventing the wheel. So for sustainability, we don't have much research or work ourselves on this area, and we don't need to. Why? Because GPM Global exists, and they do have good product and they continue to enhance their product and their standard related to sustainability in the project management environment. So use GPM. For competence, we don't invent the wheel either. IPMA and their, their individual competence baseline or an organizational competence baseline, it's great. And then we use that. Now, best practice is a tough one. Best practices has to be linked to the industry or the organization. And usually, I personally come from capital project, the best reference for best practices in my industry for any capital project, engineered construction, oil and gas, petroleum, real estate development, is what the Construction Industry Institute, CII, publish. They have a set of best practices that can implement it in project, and each one of them can have direct impact on the total project cost. Negative or positive depend on how if you don't implement them or if you implement them. And finally, we have a project success model that look at project success from a different angles. And that is a SUCAD product. We have the fourth dimension of project success and that, uh, that we have developed ourselves to link to CAMP. So now we have explained briefly what CAMP and the three dimensions are. CAMP is built on a set of principles. I don't want to go through the detail here. Uh, maybe I would just leave the screen on and you can read them. But basically some of the concepts, well, I'll read them with you quickly. We need to implement project success model with benefit realization, which means basically project must have and must work toward realizing benefits. Yes, this is the core and, uh, and this is part of our project success model. And one of the four dimension of project success is directly linked to benefit realization. So we cannot ignore this model, uh, or this concept at least. I mean, you can use other model, but this concept. We need to follow a stage gate process, research, and uh, top companies around the world who work on capital project realize that a stage gate process is a must. Research from independent project analysis based on thousands of projects from benchmarking data clearly says a stage gate process is a must. Well, CAMP is a stage gate process. You need to incorporate industry leading practices, as we discussed on the previous slide in regard to construction, for example. I'm sure technology, IT, and other uh, pharmaceutical industries, they have their own set of best practices as well. We need to capture lessons learned throughout the project. And in this case, when we say capture, we mean capture and use. Uh, so identify, document, and then use them on, uh, on future projects. Define the role of responsibility for all team. I think this is a basic one. Uh, integrate a project life cycle with the processes. That's what we have done with dimension one and dimension two. Uh, many people who study PMI or study ISO, they feel like 
this is a methodology. Well, PMI doesn't have a methodology. The pumpback is not a methodology. ISO is not a methodology. It's a set of processes to help us manage a phase or a stage of the project. So it's not a project manager, management approach. Yeah. So we need the process to manage the phase level and we need the life cycle to manage at the project level. Again, we discussed this earlier. We just want to emphasize it as a key principle. Consider product and delivery processes. What do we mean by this? A lot of research and a lot of work and literature on project management focus on project management. Only what the project manager should be doing. Honestly speaking, I don't care what the project manager does. Well, obviously I care that it's important, but, I don't, uh, but my view maybe is uh, the word I want to use is that I'm not limiting my focus to what the project manager does. If I'm an organization, I need to have highly competent project manager. It's a must. I need to have highly competent sponsors. That's a necessity. I need to have competent teams. That's obviously is a must as well. Yeah, but the key is I'm focusing on delivering benefit, not on managing project. So basically my job is to deliver the product successfully, not to manage successfully only. Obviously, to deliver the product successfully, I need to manage successfully. And that's why project management success is one of, of the four dimensions of project success. But we cannot ignore the product-related processes. Yeah? So, and for us, CAMP, we call it customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project. Maybe we should have called it differently. We should have call, called it for delivering product. Yeah? Um, but it's still the same thing. We want, as organization, we want to deliver product successfully to help us re, uh, implement capabilities to lead to benefit. We are not in the business of just managing project. Okay? Customize and adapt to industry and project type. We talk about this extensively. We need to tailor to a given project classification, which means size and complexity of the project. Small project should not be managed the same way we manage large project. You need to, we need to use the right approach for the right environment. We must integrate competence and sustainability, and we put that in D3. And we must link method to organizational system. What does it mean? Project management methodology cannot exist on their own. They must be part of a comprehensive, well-defined, and sustainable organizational project management system. These are the key principles and critical success factor to deliver successful project and project. Now, definitely, I'm not going to go through this slide. It's available. We can share it with people. If they are interested, let us know. This is how we compare CAMP with Pumba Guide and ISO 2500 and even PRINCE2. Um, and again, we are, uh, what we are, uh, the main purpose of CAMP is to build on all of these things. And also IPMA is not even here because it's hard to compare because IPMA focus on different set of things. Uh, but definitely what we have done is that with decades of experience working project all over the world, we have looked at what PMBAC and PMI offers, what ISO offer, what PRINCE2 offer, what PRINCE2 uh, IPMA offer, what GPMM, uh, GPM Global offer. We've looked at all of these things. Yeah, And in a way what we think is CAMP is kind of the umbrella that is help us take project from idea to closure using the learning from these different resources. So basically what we are saying here, we have looked outside the box and we have gone beyond what these boxes offer us, but we cannot forget where we came from and we cannot forget the box. So basically look outside the box without forgetting what is inside the box. And that's what CAMP have done in very, very, very simple, if I want to just say a quick sentence. CAMP is about going beyond the box without ignoring the box. So, we talked about version 1 and version 2 earlier. I've been saying that we are today on version 3. Version 3 is documented through this book that was published in December 2017. Uh, as a best practice and advanced project management series from CRCS Press. It includes the concept in this book, include the concept of every dimension, D1, D2, D3. And uh, of course, there are some preliminary chapters before we get into the dimension, but we also have few, quite a few chapters on how to apply CAMP in the real world. So we give you some real examples and some short case studies 
and ideas about uh, how do we, for example, estimating, how do we deal with estimating at the phase level versus the stage level? How do we handle risk at the phase level or the stage level? And also how to customize camp and how to uh, adapt camp and how to tailor camp to the different sizes and classification of the project. There are many chapters in this book that highlight these. Plus there are some additional eBooks and books that we have published or will be publishing with samples, project, and case studies. So this is a great book. We strongly encourage you to, con to not just to consider it. If you care about project management, go buy it today. So why? Let's get back now to the title of our presentation, Why Camp? Why organization should consider and adopt camp? Four main reasons. Reason one, it is based on decades of global experience. On real projects, small and simple, to mega projects from all over the world, and incorporate the lessons learned, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I have been in this business for 34 years now, coming in a few months, it will be 34 years. I've worked on project, as we've said, small to simple project, uh, to large mega projects, and literally all over the world. I've captured those learning. I've captured what I have learned personally, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And when we built and improved our methodology, we have considered uh, all of those things as, as we designed our approach. The reason two, it is in addition to our personal experiences, we also based it on global leading practices uh, and uh, good practices and guides and standard, modif but we modified them. We did not take them at face value. We look at them and we felt there are some gaps and inconsistencies in some areas, so we built on them. So we look at things from PMI and ISO, dimension two. We look at competence element from IPMA, com, uh, dimension three. We look at sustainability concept from GPM Global, dimension three. Best practice from CII and others, uh, dimension three. And of course, other areas as well. Um, we did not talk about uh, the uh, Association for Advancement of Cost Engineer or SAVE International or many, 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 many of the references that we have learned over the years whether in formal education and master's degrees or through books and reading or working with these professional um, and volunteer capacity with this organization and, or any other model. So we have captured again over these last 30 years, we have been working with many of these organization and learning from them as well. And we have captured some of those in camp. Reason three is uh, uh, maybe it goes slowly. Um, reason three is that basically what we have uh, is basically uh, camp or at least the, what we offer as SUCAD for camp is quite comprehensive. Uh, and we have quite a bit of resources that would be useful. For example, we have various education references, the books I've mentioned. We have other ebooks that you can download for free. Um, we have been recording videos, uh, maybe not in a structured way. Stay tuned, we will. Um, we have templates um, and words, uh, MS project templates related to camp that people can, in our client, we actually, in our workshops and sessions, we give them to our client. They can take them and use them immediately on the spot without modification. And if they like to modify them, they can modify them. They can brand them with their own brands. Uh, those are available. We have flow charts for different type of project, mind maps. Uh, again, these references and resources are available to support. So it's not like just we're throwing theory. No, we believe in applied project management. We believe in project-based learning. Take this stuff. Take that great knowledge that have been accumulated and summarized and extracted the, 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 the juice, if you wish, and put it for you in a different tools and format that can help you start to use great project management today. Uh, obviously, our clients and organization, whether they are clients of our learning services or organizational and consultancy solution services, 
they have the support of not someone who have good expertise in project management only. Uh, we created this, we developed this. Yeah. So uh, obviously, um, we are the authority on this. Final reason, I, I could, obviously I can go on and on, yeah? But I mean, the uh, main four reason, and this is the four reason, it really, literally, we honestly believe it can be used, well, let me back off, it's not honestly believe, we know it, it is, it can be used on any type and any size. Within Sukhanet, we have used it on many things, uh, on many type of project, from technology project, to uh, writing a book project, to publishing, uh, to uh, organizing events, uh, to organizing conferences, uh, to developing website, to launch an office. Um, that's with Antucad. And I know our clients have used it on human resource project, uh, national development program. Uh, even today, one of the leading ministries in the UAE, to our understanding, they are implementing uh, CAMP uh, as their standard methodology within the organization. Uh, we have worked with healthcare organization. We have worked with jewelry companies. Uh, and uh, obviously, so technically, literally, a approach like CAMP can be used on any type, any size project, and anywhere. Obviously, we talked about tailoring, uh, customizing to an industry or organization, adapted to a division, a function, or type of project, and adjusted for different classes, size, and complexity. Now, maybe we can say the fifth reason, but we're not ready yet. Hopefully within uh, a year or so, we can have online apps on camp as well. Finally, whether you have one of these or not, and whether it is a PMP or IPMA or any other organization, in order to manage project, we have emphasized this point many times, you need a methodology. You need a methodology. Now, obviously, you can create your own from scratch, or you can use something like CAMP. So, to help you realize and proudly present your achievement, contact Sukhaid today, and let us help you travel the journey of success. Munir Ajam from Sukad. Uh, our Sukad web page is on the bottom, www.sukad.com, S U K A D. My personal web page is munirajam.com. As you can see, it's just my name. Um, they are, we are here. You can email us at info at sukad.com. Maybe request a meeting with your senior management so we can help discuss how can we help you elevate your organizational performance. Once again, thank you and have a wonderful time and wish you success today and always.